Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Mewtwo, Fan Nate, and I am your coach of the New York Neuverns, and we are having our Season 4 Week 2 match against Equa... I don't know, he's changed his name up, I don't know what it is right now, but it's Equa. Um, he is the coach of the Warchester Walrings, so go ahead and check his channel out, and uh, his links will be down in the description below, both his Twitter and his YouTube. Give him a follow, give him a sub, show him some love. So, anyway guys, if you don't know, I am extremely, extremely nervous for this match. This guy has some threats on his team. He has some threats. Um, I'm very worried. I almost guarantee you that, like, Celebi's coming. Uh... And the, maybe in the Milotic is probably coming, but I mean we'll see. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna have my notes up so that way um, I can just see. Um, so we're just gonna. I'm gonna hit battle start. I'm gonna bring the battle box. Hopefully there's no DCs. If there's some DCs, I'm gonna cry like pretty hard. Um, so we do see the Volcarona. We do see the Mega Altaria. So this is basically. Um, I basically. I figured this was something that he could bring. Um, I think he might even he might even lead off to he might even try to get his rocks up with the crocodile. So there's actually no Celebi. Um, there's the there's the tracky on the crocodile. No Lipard. No no oops. No uh, no Swellow. He does he does have the Avalog for his spinner. No. Agron, no Heliolisk, which is actually very surprising. No Gengar, which I was very scared of, um, to be honest. So, Milotic Mega Altaria. So, we, okay. We have stuff. We have stuff for this thing. So, um, he might lead, he might try to get up his rocks. Um, I don't want to lead off my Azel f f and go for a U-turn, because he can put, probably pursue trap me. Um, I think what I'll do is, I think I'm gonna, I almost wanna lead with my rotten eggs, to be honest. Although, then that means I don't, that means if he tries to go and set up his own rocks with his crocodile, then that means, uh, he gets them up for free, because I can't paralyze that thing. And I don't have defog on this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick, uh, Shino to lead. Okay, I hit confirm at the last second. That was really scary. <laughs> that was really scary. Okay. So, uh, that's it's. We're gonna see what happens. Bandito, that is the crocodile. So, I predicted that pretty well. Are we? We're gonna see if this thing has intimidate or moxie. Although I will outspeed this thing. No, no intimidate there. So, I have to see if... I think Pin Missile is probably my best play. Um, let me bring up my calcs. And I gotta see if Pin Missile is the best play here. So we have uh, 80 seconds, so we're, we're good. Uh, Scolipede. Uh, spike our lead. Uh, if I use Pin Missile... Uh, and we're against a Crocodile, who is potentially, let's say... Um, let's say he's Choice Scarf. Pin Missile does around 80% with 3 hits. Stone Edge Oko's me. Um, he might just- I feel like he's gonna try to set up his rocks though. I think he's d more defensive. Um, but I can also outspeed him and get a layer of spikes up. Which might be more important. Although if I go for a superpower... How much is that gonna do to this thing? Superpower does like nine, 70 to 90 percent. We have three minutes left. Do I get up one layer of spikes, or do I just go for a pin missile? Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go for our pin missile, because we can potentially get some crits. We just get the player spikes. He's no, he's definitely Moxie. Let's go. Let's go for. He goes for the knockoff here. So. Oh, crit! Really? He's scarfed. He's scarfed. And he's Moxie. Oh man, that's kind of unfortunate. He's that's kind of unfortunate. So we know he's scarfed uh, now, which is because I'm pretty sure I could have lived one. So he's scarfed. 
And what I can do now is I can definitely go out into my rotten eggs here, and I can, and he can't. I mean, he can get off. Uh, I mean, he can knock off my Eviolite here, but I do around 80% to him. Or do I just go for? Do I just get up? Do I just get up the rain right now? And then I just start. And do I put massive pressure on his team? Because I could do that. Even at plus two, because in the rain I out, I'll outspeed him. Actually, no. Let's just go for the dazzling gleam. Let's get off damage. Uh, so we potentially see the uh, Volcarona coming in here, but that's the Milotic. So that's kind of a problem. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch out. Uh, I want to switch out here. To, I want to switch out to my Gene Ico because uh, I can. So we see this thing has leftovers, mylotic leftovers. I don't want to paralyze this thing because I don't want it to get the defense boost. The knockoff crit might not have mattered. Uh. Yeah, no, that de that crit definitely mattered. The um, it was only gonna do 73% max, and then I would have gotten my speed boost, and I would have been able to. Uh, what did he go for? Did he go for a toxic? I totally missed that. He could have definitely gone for a toxic there. Um, what is his switch into this thing? Uh, maybe it's the. It might be the Volcarona or the Mega Altaria. Although, if I just go for the Relic Song here, he doesn't have a switch into it, and neither does he, he doesn't have a switch in for the, um, he doesn't have a switch in. And I could potentially put this thing to sleep, which would be actually very nice. Oh, I get a crit myself. And I think that crit might even mean that I can... I might that might even mean that I can kill him with a close combat. Ah, uh, Meloetta. If I go 252 against an Avalug. Uh, close combat does how much? Close combat does 58% and 58% minimum, 68%. So I can just go for a close combat here. What if I go for Stone Edge? Stone Edge does 32 to 60%. Close combat kills, dude. He doesn't have a switch into this thing. Yeah, so now his spinner's gone too. That crit, um, it didn't necessarily matter too much. I mean,. I don't know. He doesn't have a spinner now. But, uh, I'm not as salty now because of the, uh, I'm not really that salty. Although, he could go into his Scarfed Crocodile here, and then he could, I mean, he could try to pursue Trap Me, but I don't think it matters, to be honest. Like, for example, let's say I'm 252, I'm Jolly. At minus one... Defense. Let's say if he's uh, Crocodile and he's Scarfed, the Pursuit is not going to kill me. Uh, earthquake at minus one doesn't kill me. Uh, so he can't kill me, and I Oko him back with the close combat, so that's good to know. Um, my, with my. With. This is the. This is Winrar. This is the. Um, that's this thing. And. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to click Stone Edge because I can kill him with that. Uh, he's sashed. He does go for the Quiver Dance. I'm not too, too worried about this um, because cause I can potentially paralyze him and he's at minus one. 
So I think what I do here is I wish I I wish I was packing the quick attack now. Um, he could just go for like this. Hmm. I could potentially just stop him, and I can go into my rotten eggs because that thing kind of shuts this. It kind of shuts this thing down. He's trying to set up really early though. Cause at, even at plus one, like, let me see. Does does I do I die to a plus one quiver dancing? Let's see. So if he goes Volcarona, Volcarona, oh you offensive quiver dance. The at plus one uh, special attack. Fire blast kills Giga Drain. Bug Buzz doesn't kill me. If actually wait wait wait, I'm assault vested. I'm assault vested. Fire Blast is the only thing that can really kill me. And I can just go, like, because Bug Butt doesn't kill me. Fire Blast definitely kills me. So he have to land a Fire Blast, and I don't know if he's actually running Fire Blast. Mm. I don't think I stay in and risk it. I think I'm going to go into my Rotten Eggs here. Because I can still, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm just gonna, t I could just T-wave this thing. He goes for the Fiery Dance. Which means I could have definitely taken one of those. He didn't get the special attack boost. So, what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna go for the, I could go, I can go T-wave here, but he could t potentially switch into his, uh, he could, pot I think I'm gonna go T-wave, because even if he goes into his Crocodile, yeah, I'm gonna go T-Wave here. Cause even if he goes into his Crocodile, I could uh I can fire off a Dazzling Gleam and he can't kill me because he's scarfed. He's not uh He's not choice ban. And I'm fully physically defensive, bold nature. So I think uh that's my best play. So we see the quiver dance. Uh so let me write that down. He goes for the roost here. And then I just go rain dance. And then what does he what does he do to me? It doesn't matter, dude. Like you can't touch me now. Because now I now he's showing two moves, which is uh, he well actually he's showing us fiery dance. Roost and Quiver Dance, so which means that he he literally he can't touch uh, he can't touch me because he has um, he has Fiery Dance, which is not going to do anything now. So I can actually probably switch out into my Gene Ico here, and I could even go for a facade, and I could potentially. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back out into my Gene Ico. I'm, I really hope that he shows the uh, shows us the uh, the Giga Drain here. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat that. Um, so I could probably just I could probably even fire off a Stone Edge from this. Uh, like for example, let's say if I go to Milouette, and I just do in points, and I just do I'm fully invested Stone Edge, uh, Stone Edge. Uh, when I'm not even, I don't even have to be. I don't even have to be. Uh, what's the word? I, I don't even have to be in my in point form to like knock this thing out. So, I, but I think Relic Song is probably my best play overall. Because I want to get back into my other form. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Relic Song here. I'm going for the Relic Song. And... Maybe I'll put this thing to sleep. But 
this is um this is not horrible for me. I actually want to do my calcs again. Uh, Cause I don't remember if I did it in the rain. Uh, let's see, 252, 252. In the rain, uh, my uh, my Lotic. You use defensive. Scald only does 55% to me max. He could get a cr crit in the rain, which would be kind of kind of would be kind of shitty. Um, let me go for let me see. Facade uh, does 29% close combat. Close combat does 48%. Do I just go for the facade? This thing is it's a it's almost it's almost a guaranteed win con for me. So I have to keep this thing alive. Um although do I really need it now? Cuz that thing is that the Volcarone is paralyzed. He does have the Terrakion, which would be it would be very nice for. Um, I don't think I need my rotten eggs. I think what I do is I have to bring in I have to bring in the uh, I have to get rid of the uh, that scarfed mon. So I think I have to stay and I have to click. Uh, I think I have to stay and click facade. Hopefully he burns me with the scald on the next turn, and then I can just kill I can kill him. If he's offensive, though, this could kill me, which I don't think. Yes, so the facade is gonna definitely take him out. So what he's gonna—he's probably gonna want to—he's probably gonna want to switch out here, right? He could go for a protect, because um, he did. I'm pretty sure he showed the toxic, but he missed it. He could go out into Terrakion here, which I wouldn't be too worried about. Um. I'm gonna go for the facade here because it, it's gonna hit everything ridiculously hard. Even the Terrakion's not gonna like want to take this. This is a 128 based um, attack. Uh, I mean, 128 based power uh, attack. Well, no, 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 not power attack. But then it's 140. My uh, base attack is 128, so this is gonna do massive damage. Plus, it's stab. So even if he goes out into the uh, Terrakion here, um, which I think this is it. I don't think he's gonna want to take this facade. I don't think he's gonna want to take this facade. Like that does that does a good chunk of damage there. That does a really good chunk of damage. He might have the quick attack because he did show he did have the quick attack in his first match, and I wouldn't be too surprised. Um, I don't really need the Meloetta, so I'm just gonna click facade again. He does go for the quick attack, so I could I could have potentially. Um, I could have potentially saved it, but I didn't really see the point of it. And he's showing the life warp again. So, um... So, Terrakion. Life orb. Uh, with quick attack. And I think this would be a really good time to get up my rocks. I think this would be a really good time to get up to get to get up my rocks. Um, let me just see. So we he we we got rid of the Avalog. So I don't. Let me delete the Avalog. His his Volcarona is 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 paralyzed, so it's not so much of a threat anymore. So he can't he can't really switch that thing in on me, and go for a uh, Giga Drain. He does have the Crocodile, which is Scarf, the Mega Altaria sitting in the back. I think what I could do here is I could probably just go for the Stealth Rock. But although, let me see how much two or because I have I have time. So let me see if I go for the Swamp Mega Swamper. And let me go to my custom set. And let me bring this down to fifty. The Earth Power does thirty percent. So let me go for the Earth Power here. Although the Stealth Rocks would be kind of nice, and I could get a Special Defense drop. So let me let me go for that. There's nothing on his team. He could have Hidden Power Grass, which would be kind of unfortunate. 
He has close combat, but I can eat this. I can eat that pretty well. And so we're gonna kill this. We're gonna get a kill with the um, from our from our Swampert here. So we actually get a kill, which is nice because Mega Swampert, you were slacking. So he has the Crocodile, which is Scarth, which could potentially Pursuit Trap me. And I think I would just let this thing die. If, if that's the case. Although, I don't think he's going to be running Scarf Pursuit. He could he could go into Mega Altaria. Uh, I, but I think his play is Milotic. I think his play is Milotic here. And if that's the case, I'll just... I'll switch in... I'll switch into my uh, Tugatik. And I'll Roost... I'll roost on him. Because uh, I do need I do want to get my health back up a little bit for that crocodile. He is preserving them, which is kind of annoying. So I'm gonna have to bait those things in. I am gonna have to bait those things in, so um I think he he's there's a potential he could go for a knockoff here. I think I'm just gonna click scald. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to stay in. I think he, I think I go down here, and I don't want anything else really taking the damage. Um, what I can do, though, is I can actually go, uh, after I let something die, I could potentially U-turn on this thing and do a lot of damage. So let me just go for this Scald here. We're not going to have, I don't think we're going to have rocks up this game, do we? Do we need him? He has the Crook, no, he has the Volcarona, which would die. He's Scarf, though, so he's probably just going to kill me with an Earthquake, right? Alright, let's go for the Scald. He goes for the knockoff. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm living. Yeah, I'm not living that. Now, I do have to bring out my Calcs, because I don't think... Because most of my Calcs were done after one layer of Spike, and unfortunately he did get that crit on me that first turn. Which, it kind of sucked. It kind of messed up my plans. But it's Pokemon, it's the game we play, so I'm not going to be too upset about it, but I think I want to go into a Zelf here uh, with my custom sets. Uh, let me see. <sighs> so let's bring in Crocodile. Choice Scarf. Um, knockoff definitely kills. U-turn uh, does around 40%. Dazzling Gleam does around 8 So I can go and I can go into you. I can U-turn out into my, uh... This is really shitty. I'm down to 3 Mons. Uh, I think I have to go out into my... I have to go out to Rotten Eggs here. And I'm gonna have to Roost. And I have to get to plus 2. And I think I have to do that on the Milotic. Like, I have to go to... I, I literally, literally have to go for plus two onto the my on the mylotic so uh what i'll do here is i'm gonna roost or should i just dazzling gleam here he has four mons he has four mons left but i mean the volcarona is paralyzed so i'm not too worried about that i can kill it with a thunderbolt mylotic goes down to thunderbolt mega altaria goes down to two uh plus two uh empower ices Okay, so let's go for... I think we can go Dazzling Gleam here. Because I can revenge kill it after that. If that's... If anything. So he'll get rid of my... Not, he'll get rid of my uh, item. But a Dazzling Gleam should do around 60 to 70%. Yeah, that's about 70%. And what I'm going to... I'm going to Roost here. This one shouldn't kill me. If he gets a crit, though, that's going to be a little unfortunate. Uh, unfortunately. It, it does. It's gonna do. It would do the same amount of damage. I think I go into my. I think I have to go into my Raichu. Um, Fiery Dance will do a lot to me. 
I'm choice scarf though, and I can click psychic on this thing, I think. He doesn't have bug buzz. And can I live one hit from this thing? He's playing very well, actually. Um, so let me see. Volcarona. I think he's honestly... Um, psychic. Oh, hold on. I'm bring it level 50. Psychic does 50%. And... He doesn't have Bug Buzz, so Fiery Dance is all he can hit me with. I have 30 seconds. Fiery Dance. He's only going to do 30% to me, so I eventually I win this match. Eventually. So by going for Psychic. Although I think I might have to go for U-Turn. Because if he go, if I, I, he could potentially predict this. Uh, I think I have to go out into Raichu here. I don't know if I can live a hit though. I do have four EVs in special defense. I have to go out into Raichu. Because I could potentially. Because. Oh, he gets paralyzed. Okay. So, what I have to do now is I actually have to go. Let me type in. Raichu. Um, he can't kill me with anything, so I can nasty plot. I'm actually gonna nasty plot here. Oh, that's actually way too soon. I nasty plotted way too soon. Because he's scarfed. Is that another crit? Fiery Dance should have only done 31... What is that? Is that max? That's Is that modest? Fiery Dance is only supposed to do 33 to 40% to me. What the... What? So even if that critted... How did that kill? It has a 99.2% chance to, to a KO. That's impossible. Oh, wait. No, it does have a chance to kill the crit. That crit mattered, though. Because I was calculating that in the rain. But that shouldn't have killed. That does kill the crit, though. Alright, so what I have to do now is I have to go for... The, man, those two crits really just screwed me up. And I set it up way I set up way too early. Um He he is at plus one. I think he there is a chance though that he's gonna fear my move. I'm gonna go for U turn here. I'm gonna hope for more para hacks. He got two crits on me, so let's see. He goes for fire dance again. I'm actually gonna set up the rain so this doesn't do as much. Oh, this this could probably kill me, right? I have to go roost. And I have to hope he gets paralyzed. So he doesn't get paralyzed. Although I'm, it looks like he's pretty determined just to stay in here. I'm gonna go for the rain dance so he can't really hit me. So he's really trying to set up here. I'm gonna go now. Now that he's at plus one special defense, 
I'm gonna really have to hope on some psychic crits. He did get some crits of his own. I got one crit. And he gets paralyzed, so... I'm actually just gonna go for the uh, Choice Scarf Psychic. I don't want... I just... I really want this thing to die. Um, I... It's not doing a lot. That does so much damage. I think this is good game here. I'm gonna play this out to the end, though. Unfortunately, he did get that crit on my Raichu, which, I mean, honestly, it was my own fault, though, because I didn't go for the for the Thunderbolt right off the bat. Let's hope for some more para hacks and some special defense drops. That was a higher roll. He's going to go for the Roost here. Um, I don't have... Um, So now he can go for a fiery dance. Let's go for the. Let's go for the psychic. I need a crit and a high roll. He goes for the quiver dance again. You're not gonna outspeed me, but this is gonna be really annoying. Uh, you, I really wish he would have just gone for the uh, fiery dance there. He's going to go for a roost. Damn, this is just like, um... This is just like, uh, game, uh... The game with Kelly. Except he's doing it with Volcarona and I was doing it with Milk Tank. He gets paralyzed. Um... I don't know why he just doesn't switch out here. Yeah, this game is potentially not over. Although, no, it definitely it's over because he has the uh, Mega Altaria. And he gets up to roost. Yo, I don't know why you just don't attack me. I'm running out of psychics here. He goes for another roost. Dude, just attack me. What are you doing? This is annoying. Uh, I'm just gonna keep kick, keep clicking psychic. And he goes for another roost. He's legit stalling me out of my uh, psychics. He went for another quiver dance. I think he's trying to get to plus six. Although I'm hoping that he gets paralyzed and I get a crit. You would think after all of these, um, that's a crit. <clears throat> Take that, Equa. <laughs> you could have just killed me like ten turns ago. Um, I'm gonna... I don't have the coverage for you, but I just need to switch out into rot Rotten Eggs here so I can T-Wave you. You could potentially go for a Dragon Dance here, which I do think that's what you're gonna do, because you're, uh, you're very... I can see you're very... You really want to set up here on me, which is something you can do. Um, you ha you probably... He might have Heal Bell. Uh, you could just fire off a Hyper Voice. Um, although... I just need I need to switch up my move. So if you want to kill me right away, that's fine too, because I have dazzling gleam. Okay, so I'm gonna live one, um, and I'm just gonna go for the roost here. He's probably he can take me out. 
So, uh, if I get a crit, Dazzling Gleam, with my Zelf, will that kill? Uh, Zelf, custom set, to a Mega Altaria. Oh, you defensive, oh, offensive Dragon Dance. Let's go ahead, we'll, let's see, we'll bring you down to level 50. Um, Dazzling Gleam does 68%, so, uh, I would need, I need a crit to kill. I need a crit high roll to kill with Dazzling Gleam. And we don't get it, and he's going to take me out, so that is definitely a good game there, uh, Equa, that was a, um, so you, you, you that was a 3-0 in your favor, um, so we did get our first loss of the season, but it definitely wasn't a bad match, so I'm not too upset about that, it was, you know, you got some crits and stuff there, but I did, I did paralyze him a couple times, uh, the game, he could have definitely swept me with the, um, potentially with the Volcarona there, but, I mean, it's Pokemon, it's the game we play, so can't be too mad. Uh, good game, Equa. Uh, everyone go show him some love and say good job on the battle because that's what he did. He did, did a great job. Uh, I'm going to get out of here, so I'll see you guys next time. Right, Peace.